Hello Rainbows, welcome back to my channel. Sorry for the voiceover, I know that the quality is not really that great. But today I am doing a bit of a different video. I really want to kind of start doing some makeup on different skin tones because I know not everyone who follows me is as pale as Moonbeam like I am. So this is my beautiful model Geraldine today. She is freaking stunning. She's from Chile. She's just, oh, beautiful and has the most gorgeous skin. So today we are kind of doing a really natural glam wedding type makeup look with kind of glossy lips, light yet smoky eyes and I just wanted to show you guys how I achieved it. So to start off with I'm just applying a moisturizer to her skin and then going in with a primer as well just as a base for her skin. So all the products I'm using I will have listed below. Foundation, I'm just mixing up her perfect shade and then applying that all over the face. So next step, I'm going in with eyebrows and I'm just kind of lightly touching up what she already has, then doing a few kind of upward hair strokes in there as well to make it a little bit more natural. So for eyeshadows, I'm mainly kind of using light, neutral, natural-ish kind of shades. So starting off with a light shade as a base and then working into more caramel type shades to bring in some dimension, mainly into the outer corner and crease of her eye. So basically I'm doing very similar technique with multiple different colors and just building up some depth into those outer portions of the eyes. I want it to be natural, but I still want it to have that little kind of hint of smokiness. Then for the lid, we are applying a light kind of champagne-y, beautiful colour. Um, I then also wanted to just deepen out the crease a little bit more as well. For eyeliners today, I'm actually mixing two different colors. I've got a black and a brown, just so it's not like pure black, but I didn't. I thought brown would probably be too light. So we're just doing like pretty much a thin kind of tight line along Geraldine's <laughs> upper lash line, just to help the lashes blend and just make her lashes appear fuller and thicker and just give it a little bit more dimension. Um, before I do lashes or any kind of um, eyeshadow along the lower lash line, I like to conceal and do like majority of the base kind of makeup first. Alright, so on to the face. So what I'm doing is just applying concealer underneath the eyes. I like to damp my beauty blender before I blend that out because I think it kind of infuses the concealer with the setting spray and makes it last so much longer. So now I'm just going in doing a little bit of initial kind of bronzing around the face just to warm it up before we go in with some contour. I am just using powder contour today. Um, I just find it gives a softer kind of more natural result rather than being too harsh. And I'm also going to go in and set underneath the eyes just with a little bit of setting powder. No baking just because I just, it never works for me. It settles into creases, it goes cakey, it just mm, does not look good. I'm also going to do a little bit of nose contouring here as well and blush of course. Back onto the eyes. I've got some of that eyeliner 
I'm just going to trace this along the lower lash line, not on the waterline, just the lower lash line, only about halfway in, and then smoke it out with some shadows under there as well. I'm just going in with a little bit of a kind of jelly highlighter. This is a little bit more softer, it's a bit more dewy and natural looking as well. <laughs> New haze on the background. And then for lips, I'm going in and lining them. Again, just a really kind of nice natural lip colour, very similar to her natural colour. And then over the top, I'm just applying a little bit of a tinted gloss and that is it for the lips. Now I'm applying the lashes, uh, that glue has become tacky. While that glue is still drying on the face, I'm just going to be bronzing up the neck, doing a little bit of highlighting along the decolletage as well, or decolletage, however you say it, it's one of those. Uh, now just applying some mascara to the top and also lower lashes as well. Here you have the finished look. The whole makeup application took about half an hour. Uh, it is very, very natural, glowy, kind of youthful and just beautiful. It's like a natural glam kind of look. It's your own natural beautifulness, but a little bit more special. <laughs> so thank you guys for watching. Thank you for Geraldine for being my model. I hope you guys liked the video. Let me know if you want more videos like this and I will definitely try and get some more friends, some more models in to do some makeup on you, for you guys. Uh, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, give me a comment, all that jazz and yeah, I love you guys. I'll see you all in my next video. <laughs>